uh what's your take on the whole moonlighting controversy that's been going on because there is so many sides to this just for anyone who's been living under a rock there's been strong connotations and companies pushing back like we pros taking a th- tough stand against employees who are you know almost like moonlighting and having you know almost like a second job if not a freelancing gig they fired 300 people uh, which is a yeah. little extreme but also they we pros so they have a lot of people uh but mm-hmm. it, it is an extreme step to take also like not a not a smart move and not a nice move i would say put them both together in that sense of the word uh but it's been a topic of conversation uh, recently saw something which the government kind of saying um rajesh chandrakar who's the minister of state for electronics and it he said he recommends the tech industry to not try and suppress side hustles uh hmm. what's your take on side hustles and moonlighting um so generally i'm a big fan of side hustles as long as you're like upfront about your side hustle um hmm. and you I know agree. we've spoken about this briefly before but like you know for me think fast is a side hustle uh, sure yeah. you know it's like uh, close to no cash money but you know it, it is an interesting way for me to two things understand the world of creators um mm. and understand you know how tough or easy distribution can or can't be but the second thing is it's also a way for me to like process what i'm thinking right which you yeah. can see in my multiple rambles across like multiple episodes <laughs> on multiple yes. things but but i i think uh, i i am like all in for side hustles but i do think it's really important to be upfront about what you're engaging in with your employer and work with the assumption that your employer may or may not have the you know organizational maturity to quote turn quote handle your side hustle uh and really what i'm getting to is dude there are like f- for people who are listening to this episode and for people like you and me right there are enough opportunities that can give you the degree of flexibility that you want if if you are choosing to work at wipro whether you like it or not you need to work by their rules and if their rules categorically say that moonlighting is not is not an option moonlighting is not an option it's that simple you know find a like find a place that that floats your boat so um uh you know uh, my take away from this is in the in the uh, grander scheme of things i'm all for it i do think supplemental income uh, you know uh, is needed in a country like india where especially for your more entry level jobs you don't see um salary growth beyond that you know 6 to 8% year on year right I, i'm assuming that's what it would be even at a company like wipro for that you know mass of jobs that they have uh, but uh, but i think the thing that i find a little funny is when you know um uh, english speaking you know very like uh, you know uh, elite folks on twitter make a debate mm-hmm. out of this cuz you're just like dude i mean this first and foremost has zero ramifications on your life and second yeah. like you know there are enough options for people like you and me man it is just comes down to what you want to choose but uh, you go ahead sir what do you think about this moonlighting cacophony um at the base level there's a few things right um i'll talk about the simple fact that when even when i had my first job uh, at mtv and then at channel v was there a side hustle constantly like when i was working with channel v i would go shoot gigs for like you know hmm. where there were bands playing and stuff and make whatever money from that and stuff like that um i have friends who done design made websites that's always been a thing um most companies say as long as like i said doesn't affect your job your primary job role it's fine to do but i feel the pandemic kind of gave it another layer is that people realized mm. they could sit at home and literally do do two full paying jobs um, especially tech workers and yeah the problem now is as you kind of think okay come back to work or come back to the office a lot of them don't want to give up on that structure they built for themselves and i feel it's tech more than any other place that has this problem because it's very easy for someone who's like a a legit coder to sit down and say one second this makes sense for me i can do multiple things i am not yeah. in in any way not doing my job to the t hmm. so maybe some of those rules have to be rewritten there are some jobs which you can't do two three of those i mean there are hmm. ethical reasons let's say you're in sales right that's an ethical problem um hmm. let's say you're in a creative even even creative teams can kind of do that part i know there's enough freelance that happens on that front but can you hold two jobs you can't technically by law you can't be employed in two places yeah so yeah. you got to kind of understand that and not just look not just like again the same thing right you go the headline and look at the headline you push back but hmm. by law you cannot hold two employment contracts so yeah. if you want to do two things one is your job one is your side hustle and at some point some of those rules have to be written by companies um, is the way to look at it if you ask me but would i really push back and say don't 
like fully outlaw it no would i say hmm. that everything goes also no um, but you hmm. as a company have to understand this is the way the world is functioning now you can't totally turn around and say i will fire everybody who i know even has a side hustle that just shows like it it has a culture ramification it also has a talent ramification people might not want to come and work for you so you got to think yeah. about that before saying this